Okay, everyone. So here's the thing, yeah. We have we have marked a number of assignments that you did last week, okay? And we have returned some of those results to a lot of you. Okay, so we were committed to giving as much personalized feedback as is possible when it was possible. And uh, but again, and I think this is something we have to repeat again. Some of you are asking, okay, let me go make the changes then to resubmit. Again, you can resubmit, but we cannot regrade. Okay, so if you feel like the feedback that we gave was helpful, you can do it again and you can resubmit. Okay, but we cannot regrade. So that's just how it is. But whatever feedback we are giving, we are hoping that it will do two things. One, it will help you make sure that the next time you're doing the assignment, you do it better and you can get better grades next time. Okay, the other thing that this grading and why I think this grading is important is because we want to know by the end of week 12 what competences you are strong at so that we recommend you for the kind of jobs that are more suited to you and to the goals and to the competences that you have for yourself. So I hope that is clear. Okay, so yes, you can redo it if you want, but we cannot regrade. So that's just how it is. So uh, there's that. But thank you so much to everyone who put in effort in the way you guys did the assignments and you showed up and you showed up well. So that is wonderful. Okay. Uh, the other thing is that we held the tutorial yesterday for the problem anticipation assignment. If you didn't attend it, just check the group. The recording is there. The deadline for that one is on Friday this week. We will hold the other tutorial for the design thinking assignment tomorrow, and we will hold it around the same time you guys usually have the technical tutorial, so around morning hours. So that's when we will hold the design thinking assignment tutorial. And that tutorial is particularly important because design thinking is a skill that is sounds non-technical but it does have some technical aspects to it and it's a very important skill because it will help you build something people want so there's that okay great so now uh let's talk about you guys and some of the things that one last thing if you've not submitted your photo it's important that you submit it why because we're beginning to make introductions informal introductions to po potential employers we need that photo because we said it we're creating profiles for you guys because we want to make sure that you're adequately placed at the end of the program. So that is good. So now let's talk about you guys. Today is week two, day three, and we want to just get a feel of where you guys are at when it comes to when it comes to the assignment, the tasks, the program itself. We want to know what challenges you may be facing that make it assignments or or anything that's related to being successful in the program and i need a volunteer to start us off what you will tell us is uh what you're working on currently and uh what challenges you have in the process okay then once you're done you are going to recommend someone to go next per usual who wants to start us off today daniel go forward Okay. Daniel, then Sorry. Mubarak will follow. Then after Mubarak, you choose the next person. Daniel, go for. Okay, thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. Yesterday I was doing the uh, task one point one. Uh, I was reading those regarding the A/B testing, and uh, more or less I have task one point one, but I was struggling in doing uh, one point two, especially on sequential A/B testing, and. Uh, I couldn't find any resource that can explain the sequential A-B testing in detail. That was the challenge I've been facing. Uh, hopefully, uh, I'm hoping that I will finish the and submit the, the assignment. Okay, so you said your challenge was? Uh, doing the, there is a task given on sequential A-B testing and 
uh, I couldn't find books that explain sequential repetition in detail, and uh, I okay. couldn't grasp the concepts behind this. Uh, so that was my challenge I was facing. Uh, mm -hmm. Hopefully, I'm going to finish it today if I if I get uh, a resource on that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you. Sequential testing. If I'm not failing you, who else? Just raise your hand. We want. Yeah. Who else is struggling with the same thing? Same Mubarak, Elizabeth, Linda, Behigu, Kate. Okay, great. Let me see if you have any of your instructors in session today. Mm, no one of them are here today but they'll probably come in at some point okay and you guys remember just like uh arun said yesterday you're free to create a google meet for you for you guys to brainstorm mutually on some of the challenges that you're facing okay that's important that you you know that but in the interim uh we'll see what we can get to instruct oh but yabba bell is here thank you for joining yabba bell have any uh, perspectives on the challenge daniel said he has yabba bell can you hear us now i can hear you, you. are muted yeah oh, what is the great. question uh, Daniel, would you want to say what struggle you're facing? Okay, I was facing, uh, I was having a uh, hard time of understanding sequential AB testing. Uh, mm -hmm. I have read the resources given on the documents, but I couldn't understand the concept behind it. And I couldn't find a resource that explains sequential AB testing detail in practical way uh, so i think that has been uh, a challenge okay yeah uh, it is very normal that sequential testing understanding sequential testing isn't that easy so um, just the first advice more of like you know there is a code a starter code right so that gives you the implementation and what you just need to implement is the just basically calling the the kind of the algorithm and compute it but um so the easiest is um to understand the difference between a classical and a sequential is very it's like one is trying to measure it every time you get the data. So if you imagine you are doing the experiment in 10 days, so the classical test assumes the number of the data that you will get at the end is constant. So you fix that number and you do all the statistics, the derivation. This one, it doesn't assume that. It basically says like, okay, I'm going to check every day and when I find significance, I will stop it. So that's the, so the only, like the kind of the real difference is there. It's like all the rest is kind of, and how you do it is by one defines a boundary, the other one defines only one threshold, one number saying like, okay, above this, uh, this value. So the, the classical one is a p-value version, but this one is like a continuously, it's kind of a two-dimensional plot as, you know, in, in the x-axis is um, time. And then you will have like a boundary that is kind of like, if you cross that boundary, you then kind of can determine to be um, significant or not significant. So that's that's the main idea. So when you read, it's much more mathematical that one, but it's basically like with that concept. So if there's more question, probably um, I will have some time around one or two uh, in German time uh, later. So we can have a session on all of these other also, if, if there is any outstanding questions technically. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for that, Yabba Bell, because it's not just Daniel that was uh, facing that challenge. A number of other people also raised their hands saying they're facing the same challenge. So 
So uh, 1 p.m. German time should be around uh, 10 a.m. Uh, UTC, but I'm not sure. So. so it's it's only two hours, so I think it's 11 UTC. Uh, if I'm okay. not mistaken. 11 a.m. UTC. Okay, yeah. great. So guys, if you are able to join in that session with the Gabba Belt, please do that. Then he'll, he'll be able to sort you out. Rachel, I see your hand is raised. Go on. Yes, yes, Cindy. Uh, good morning to you all. Morning, Rachel. Uh, I have a problem on the task 1.1, 1 .1, which says uh, I've spent many hours trying to get on it, uh, Google it, but uh, I haven't seen any thing to make me understand the question so that I can answer it is the question is what the statistical process that generate the data and which kind of statistical model we, sh we, we can use if we were to simulate the data. So I'm not yeah. getting so, this question. Uh, it, it is, I mean, the good thing is that the questions are good. Like I, I always measure the quality of understanding by the extent, the kind of the question. And this is a very good question and a previous question is good. So that means you guys are understanding it for me. It's like sometimes you have to know what we are expecting isn't what you, you know, you are clever, so you probably would expect a lot from you. And that's really good. That's why, of course, you're selected. But so it is, but it isn't easy. Statistics, I said it in, on Monday, it isn't, it is the most unnatural thing for humans in a sense that it's not, we don't have intuition for statistics like mathematics. So, in this case, for example, data generation, it's basically you have to consider, okay, where is the data collected? The data is collected by kind of showing it to a person and the person looks at the data and there is a question, so it says, do you know this brand? And then the person answers a question, yes or no, right? Or another option, they don't answer. Probably they don't see it. Now, what is this? What, like this is what is, this, this is a, Bern a Bernoulli process. A Bernoulli means, like, if you throw a coin, what do you get? Two choices, either head or tail. So that's called a Bernoulli process. Anything that is like binary outcome, it's kind of a Bernoulli process. And that is the most foundational kind of statistics in that way. Like, that's why in every statistics you learn, like, you know, head or tail, because anything can be um, considered as binary. Even a, a line, you know, an outcome, which is like continuous, can be divided into less than this number or above that number. So that's why it's a Bernoulli, you can turn anything into a Bernoulli process. And then if you were to simulate, what would you do? Of course you can use Bernoulli, but on top of that also, if you want to say like, okay, in a day, how much uh, head I will get, or in that case, how much yeses I will get, how much no's I will get, that becomes a binomial distribution or a Poisson distribution. So then you will use probably a binomial or Poisson a distribution to simulate the data. So hopefully, you know, you understand now, and if you read more, like about Bernoulli process or binomial or, or, or a poison, you will understand. Hopefully that answers your question. Thank you for asking the question, Rachel. And uh, I, I can tell there's a tutorial that's needed. And uh, because I know those are not the only questions in the room that are of the technical assignment data nature. So uh, we'll make sure that you we schedule the call with the uh, with the Abbebel today at 11 a.m. UTC. You don't have a formal tutorial today. So today, actually you did. Okay, so we'll make sure that it's also uh, covered in there. So that's wonderful. So let's uh, go on to a couple of more people who will tell us what they're working on and what other challenges are being faced. Who's going next? I'll choose uh, Bethlehem to say. Bethlehem. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Ah, there you are. Good morning. Okay, can you hear me? Sorry, but right. We can hear you. Go on. Okay, to tell you a little bit about my experience. First, I started by reading the entire documents the challenge document and then I tried to look at the reference materials as well so that I can get the concepts really well 
and I have also tried to look at some of the videos that were posted on the O resource channel. And one of the challenges that I have faced was I also couldn't find some of the re extra resources from apart from the ones that were posted on um, the document. So I I looked at the Rocky chat and someone else has also faced the same issue. And uh, I think Malit has uh, given us another link, one of our instructors. And also I have uh, almost finished working on task 1.1 and uh, we have around two Google Meets yesterday with my teammates, and uh, we will also have another one today so that we will finalize things and uh, we will be able to submit it on time. I think that's uh, pretty much of it. Thank you, Bethlehem. appreciate that. Okay. Uh, pick someone to go next, Bethlehem. Okay, I think uh, Mikhail Takli can speak next. Who did you pick? Mikhail Takli. Ah, oh, Michael Takli. Okay. Mikhail Takli. Michael, are you here? Okay. Bethlehem, pick someone else. Okay. How about Azaria? Uh, Azaria Tamrat. Azaria? Um, good morning, everyone. Good Hello. Morning. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, <laughs> Michael's here. Uh, go on. Should I go on? Or? Yeah, go on. Michael, go on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so I I've also been trying to study the the actual what what I, what has actually been asked properly, and I've been trying to dig into the resources that have been shared and um gain a deeper analysis of uh, A/B testing and um statistics in general. So. Um, I've been working on task one since yesterday. I'm not finished yet. I'm going to meet with my assigned group members um, after this call and um, going to finalize uh, task one in the coming hours and also work on the non-technical assignment today. Okay, thank you. Thank you for sharing. Michael, take it. Uh, yes, uh, sorry, uh, I wasn't listening. Uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Okay, yeah, uh, I was working on a task, on the first task, task 1.1. 1 .1. Um, uh, I was trying to look at some additional documents to read on, and uh, I have faced a little bit of challenge understanding how A-B testing work uh, using machine learning. And uh, some people share me some resources, and I was able to look at it. There were, like, some good resources. Um, I also, like, I also have a meeting with my group members and uh, we try to look at the questions together and uh, we I think I got like a, a lot of understanding from them too so yes uh, I ha I'm not quite done so I'm working at it so task 1.1 so today I hope I'm going to finish it I'm going to continue to ta task 1.2 okay 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 thank you for letting us know pick someone to go next okay um let me check. Same Michael. Mm -hmm. Same, are you here? Hello. Hi, can you hear good me? Morning. Yes, we can. Good please. morning. Um so most of yesterday I spent doing 1.1 but later later on I started doing 1.2 I got through most of it and I started reading up on the sequential uh, AB testing with and had the same problems everybody else was having and so I was trying to read up on it but didn't get far um, I did try to look through the starter code as well but it was very hard to parse through what meant what and which values we were supposed to make sense of. Um, that's about it. I had a couple of meetings with my teammates as well as with other peers, Daniel and Milky. And I had a meeting today with uh, Michael as well. 
and it's been going okay i guess hopefully i'll get to finish 1.2 today and hopefully i can understand it and that's it thank you okay thank you very same pick someone to go next uh, uh i pick zalalam kita Hello. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Okay, so um, yesterday uh, we were discussing about the theoretical part about the task 1.1, and we were trying to figure out all the answers, but we had some doubts on some of the questions uh, uh, how to answer them, how to, in which perspective. To watch them, to watch them. So we discussed about most of them, and we are trying to finalize task one point one. And we have also seen the starter code with my peers. Uh, it's somewhat confusing, but we are trying to understand it. And I hope that we will finish uh, task one point two by the deadline today. Okay. Okay. And that's my experience. And I pick uh, Daniel Zalal. I think Daniel has gone, no? Who did you pick, Zalal? Daniel. I think Daniel is one of the first people to speak. Okay, okay. I joined a little bit late, so. Okay. Okay, maybe Deborah. Okay, Deborah, you're up. Hey guys. Hi guy. Oh, hi Deborah. <laughs> I'm good. Uh, uh, as the others have mentioned, uh, we have been discussing the task 1.1 with my peers, with my group mates. And I think I have a better understanding about the questions and how to go about it from the call. But I'm still having difficulties understanding some of the statistical concepts. And hopefully, I'll read more and finish the sex on time. Thank you for letting us know. And the palsy, I see you're here as well. So, uh, clearly, statistics is a thing. Come again? Uh, statistics. Uh, I have some difficulties to hear you. It's the voice not good here. The network is oh, not good. problem. I will text you on Rocket Chat, okay? No problem. Okay. Uh, Should I pick someone? Yes, please. Yes, yeah, yes. Okay, uh, I pick Barakat. Barakat, are you? Barakat. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hi, Barakat. Like yesterday, we we were doing the the theory parts, like uh, sharing our own resources and doing the things together using Google Docs, and mm -hmm. we try to figure out to solve some of the problems. Mm -hmm. And uh, like, uh, we what was the difficult thing is like what the question is really asking is one of the things that we didn't understand some of the questions, like what it is really asking and. Uh, let's figure out uh, the sense of it mm -hmm. and we have been trying to solve some of the problems but mm -hmm. there are some doubts that we didn't do mm -hmm. and the other thing that is like uh, since uh, to understand the data we need to visualize or to make PDA first so uh, like uh, I've been asking the mentors and they recommend that we need to see the body of the data but one of the things is like when we see the data it's most of uh, the values like around 85 percent of the data mm -hmm. is not answered or the users doesn't give any response to uh, the given uh, thing and having lost of 85 percent around 85 percent of the data and trying to figure out uh, the solution might be somewhat difficult and uh, what distribution is it like 
it is uh, it, it is having is somewhat uh, challenging for us to, to determine which uh, which distribution is it is following uh, is somewhat difficult for us to determine and we are trying to figure out and discuss it together to solve the problem okay uh thank you for sharing breakout yababel says he posted a few references that are easy to understand in the all week two channel um did you get a chance to look at those references breakout yeah uh like there have been Wait, I, I just i just posted them now okay okay um, no no uh, i didn't see it it's, it's uh, more like on sequential testing like um okay. kind of few that might help you visualize uh, the issues but at the same time i think what i've heard a little bit some of you probably are doing it is that do it in parallel that means just like you have to meet more often than i expect that you would just work at least four days for four hours a day together to figure it out not like one meeting i think that's that's kind of expectation um like is there's kind of you expected something we expect something I think that's why I stressed in the beginning, this is a concept that you are not familiar with. And the only way to go around it is if you just keep discussing and figure it out and sit and kind of, you know, not not just on yourself only uh, do it, because then you will need probably semester to understand it. So I think there's, there's that kind of expectation misalignment that you probably think it's the usual way that you would understand, but not. I think from my perspective or from like when we know, like we know it, how challenging it is for a person who doesn't know that thing to come and understand, you're not gonna understand it in a couple of days, not in a week, not in two weeks, not in three weeks. The only way you will understand it is if you just keep discussing and figure out and ask a lot of questions, like silly questions, which is this kind of questions, but in, in kind of in the rocket chat such that we will have a chance to answer, other people will have a chance to answer from what they read. But with this kind of static nature of now, I mean, for me, it isn't, it's not active now, the um, rocket chat. And we were hoping, or I was hoping, that you guys are discussing among yourself a lot. That's why probably I'm not asking. But I think it's, it's important that, you know, you just take the, the kind of the immediacy that this thing is. It's a week. And within a week, you have multiple things. This, you will only have like two days. So there is no way you will have a deep understanding. It's, we are really not expecting it, but to really even understand and figure out, different concepts has to come from different people who read different parts of it, and kind of then you put it together and you kind of produce something. That way you can really learn faster. Uh, that's what's called learning in a community, with a community. So I think that's just try to improve the, on that one. Uh, when we assign it in a group, it means like we know you can't do it alone. That's the only reason we assign a group, not just because we want to give you a chance to work in a group only. No, it's like that's one part, but we will not assign people in a group if we think that the tasks are not that complex. Like, so this task is very complex. Understanding is complex. So we don't want you to work alone because you won't finish it. Otherwise, it will be like too much. Um, and the coding part is slightly less this time, but understanding is just the you know, the, the slow process. You need same stars for that. So hopefully you will catch up with that and, and discuss more and solve you know, kind of together this thing instead of alone. Yeah, one of the problem was like, uh, like the previous projects, like understanding what it's really asking is somewhat difficult to us. But now uh, when you come to this project, you understand what it's really asking, like uh, the target thing, but the process you don't uh, it's somewhat difficult it's somewhat uh vague and we underestimate it in the first place like in the first place when we understand the question what's you're asking and when you have the general idea you understand the thing that you have to do but it's uh, when you go deep and try to see different things you will uh, understand that it needs a lot of time so what we have been doing is like uh, we, we create a google docs together and we, we we've been commenting on it and trying to give our own view and I think we are progressing a little bit and we need to work more to solve the problem I think. Thank you. Yeah. So just to give you to implement a sequential testing in my group where I'm working, I gave it to one of really good master's level person 
and it took him one month. So I don't, ex you know, it's like if you were to, to do it alone and to really understand deep and kind of produce, then you, you know, you would not do it. Like it's going to be very hard because there's so many concepts. Statistical significant testing is the entire thing about every more or less 50% of statistics is about that. It's like there is detail and it's like, it just seems easy, but when you get in, it's, com it's kind of like complex, right? So you have to cut it at some point, but at the same time, just get only, try to answer only those parts, and then that will give you the confidence. And then it will repeat, because the machine learning is again significance. Everything is about significance, you know, evidence, it's like that. So every data science is basically one way or another, what you're doing here, that's why it's a fun foundations are harder. So hopefully you get that now a little bit different expectation and what needs to be done and what needs to be known. And we don't expect you to, to know everything about hypothesis testing. That would take probably a PhD. Okay. Good. I hope that makes you feel better, Bereket. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Pace? Is there more? Pace. Sorry? Pace. Uh, we are uh, actually out of time right now, but because we also have another meeting after this, but I'm hoping that, you know, we can catch up on Rocket Chat at whatever time. You have a tutorial this morning, uh, a tutorial tomorrow on uh, the non-technical assignment, a town hall section with uh, one of our new connections working at Amazon tomorrow as well in the evening. There's a lot to look forward to. So. If there's anything that's pending, I'm sure that we'll be able to address it in the course of the day today and uh, with the tutorial, with the mini tutorial we'll have with the Amabel today. So uh, I'm looking forward to it and uh, I'll see you guys on Rocket Chat. Thank you everyone for coming and especially those who come on time. So bye everyone. Bye. Mm -hmm. oh. bye.